ever felt down and dejected when someone said no to you? Rejection is a word that often invokes feelings of inadequacy and failure. But what if we could turn around the narrative? What if rejection became a tool for personal growth and success? This video explores seven valuable lessons on how to transform rejection into a powerful weapon to achieve success in life. 1. Consider rejection as redirection. Embrace the idea that rejection can be a form of guidance. Perhaps the opportunity you missed wasn't the right fit, and the rejection is steering you towards something more aligned with your skills or values. Consider each rejection as a redirection towards a path better suited for your journey. In Buddhist philosophy, there's a saying, when one door closes, another opens. This wisdom encourages us to see rejection not as a definitive end, but as a signpost guiding us towards a different, potentially more fruitful path. Imagine rejection as a redirection from the universe, nudging you gently towards a journey better suited for your unique talents and life story. Each no you encounter is not a roadblock, but a detour to an opportunity that aligns more harmonically with your true purpose. Embracing this mindset turns the sting of rejection into a beacon of hope, lighting the way to new possibilities and adventures. 2. Embrace feedback for growth. Don't shy away from seeking feedback in the face of rejection. Understanding why you were rejected can provide valuable insights into areas of improvement. Whether it's a job, a proposal, or a personal endeavor, constructive criticism can be a stepping stone to your next success. Buddha once said, in the sky, there is no distinction of east and west. People create distinctions out of their own minds and then believe them to be true. This principle encourages us to let go of our preconceptions and defensive barriers. Feedback, whether it's positive or negative, is like a mirror reflecting our strengths and areas for improvement. By welcoming it with an open heart and mind, we allow ourselves to see beyond our limited perspectives and grow beyond our current capabilities. It's an opportunity to learn, evolve, and edge closer to our fullest potential, seeing each piece of feedback as a gift that helps us to navigate the complex and ever-changing landscape of our lives and careers. 3. Build resilience and persistence. Each rejection you face and overcome adds to your resilience. It teaches you to persist in the face of adversity. Remember, many successful people faced numerous rejections before achieving their goals. Use rejection as a motivation to try harder and keep moving forward. In Buddhism, there is a profound saying, just as a solid rock is not shaken by the storm, even so the wise are not affected by praise or blame. This sentiment resonates deeply with the concept of cultivating resilience and persistence. Like a tree that bends in the wind but doesn't break, developing resilience means learning to adapt and bounce back from adversity, growing stronger and more steadfast with each challenge. Persistence, on the other hand, is the quiet power of continuing steadfastly, despite difficulties or delays, in achieving success. By nurturing these qualities, we equip ourselves to navigate the ebb and flow of life with grace and steadfastness, remaining unshaken by the storms of rejection or failure, and always moving forward towards our goals with unwavering commitment and patience. 4. Avoid taking rejection to heart. It's easy to take rejection personally, but often it's more about the circumstances than your worth. Maybe the job required a specific skill you didn't have, or your idea didn't align with the company's current strategy, or the person you were interested in did not deserve you. Understand that rejection isn't a reflection of your worth as a person or professional. This concept is echoed in Buddhist teachings, which remind us, you only lose what you cling to. This wisdom suggests that our suffering in the face of rejection often stems from taking things too personally, clinging to the idea that a rejection defines us. When we personalize rejection, we attach our self-worth to an external event, forgetting that our true value is intrinsic and unchanging. 
By detaching our ego from the outcome, we can see rejection as a neutral event, not a judgment of our character, but simply a mismatch of circumstances, timing or requirements. This shift in perspective allows us to move forward with confidence and self-assuredness, knowing that our path is shaped by many factors and rejection is just a sign to redirect our journey, not a measure of our personal value. 5. Expand your comfort zone. Use rejection as an opportunity to step out of your comfort zone, try a different approach, explore new industries, or develop new skills. Sometimes, getting rejected from the familiar can be the push. You need to explore new horizons. There is a profound Buddhist saying, do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. Expanding your comfort zone is about being present and open to the new experiences that life offers, even if they initially feel uncomfortable or challenging. It's a journey of personal growth, where stepping out of your comfort zone means embracing life in its fullness, discovering new strengths, and learning from diverse experiences. This process is not just about taking risks, but also about evolving and enriching your understanding of yourself and the world around you. Each step outside your comfort zone is a step into a broader world of possibilities where personal transformation and enlightenment become not just ideals, but lived realities. 6. Cultivate a growth mindset. Adopting a growth mindset means seeing rejection as a part of the learning process. Each rejection provides a chance to grow and improve. Instead of dwelling on the negative, focus on how this experience can contribute to your personal and professional development. This idea resonates with the Buddhist wisdom. The mind is everything. What you think, you become. Cultivating a growth mindset is about nurturing a belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. It's an empowering perspective that encourages us to view setbacks not as indicators of immutable failure, but as stepping stones to greater knowledge and capability. With a growth mindset, every experience, especially the difficult ones, is seen as a chance to grow stronger and wiser. This approach transforms the way we engage with life, turning obstacles into lessons and fostering a relentless pursuit of personal evolution and enlightenment. It's about believing in the possibility of change and progress, both within ourselves and in the world around us. 7. Foster self-compassion and patience. Rejection can be tough, and it's important to practice self-compassion. Acknowledge your feelings, but also remind yourself that this is just a moment in your journey. Be patient with yourself and recognize that success is often a marathon, not a sprint. Buddha once said, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. Fostering self-compassion involves recognizing that we are all human and that making mistakes is a part of our journey. It means giving ourselves the grace to be imperfect and the time to grow from our experiences. Patience is the companion of compassion, allowing us to endure challenges without harsh judgment or haste. Together, Self-compassion and patience create a nurturing inner environment where we can heal from our wounds, learn from our errors, and slowly but steadily move towards our aspirations. By cultivating these qualities, we not only enhance our resilience and well-being, but also create a more compassionate world, as the kindness we develop for ourselves naturally extends outward to others. To conclude, rejection when viewed through the right lens, can be a powerful tool for personal and professional growth. It's not the absence of rejection, but how you respond to it that shapes your path to success. By embracing these seven lessons, you can start to see rejection, not as a hindrance, but as an invaluable part of your journey towards achieving your goals. Remember, every no brings you closer to a yes that truly matters.